Danny, who says you're the bad daughter? <laughs> Everybody. Haven't you heard? I'm detention Danny, the girl most likely to be expelled. Well, skipping class isn't going to exactly improve your odds. Exactly. It'll guarantee it. So you want to be expelled? I want Todd to have to pony up another mill or two. My dad doesn't care about money. Oh, he will, once he doesn't have any left. I figure it'll cost him 30 million to get me into the college of my choice and at least double that to keep me in there. You're forgetting that he, you're not his only child, Danny. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll leave a little for you and, and Hope and our brothers. A little. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Get wait a minute. the hell out of here! Listen, what I'm, are you doing here? I'm your Uncle Todd. I, I remember my Uncle Todd, and you don't look anything like him. All right. Hold on. Wait. Just wait a second. What? Ah. Look at that. That's a picture. Well, uh, that's me. But if that's you, where's your scar, and what happened well, to your plastic. hair? I had plastic surgery. Well, okay, forget it. It's a long story. It's, suffice to say, a lot's changed since you were in high school. It's a still life. It's not like it's going anywhere. Just grab a pad and sit down, Danielle. Hey, teach. Looks like someone's passing notes in class. Let's see who it is. Put it on my Dear desk. Dear Jesse. Uh-oh, looks like the world's oldest seniors in picture. Danielle. Trouble. Meet me by the ball field. Wonder what they do there. Love, Chris. Mr. Vega, are you dating Jessica Buchanan? That's just wrong. I mean, isn't she your student? The only thing that this picture proves that we're at the same place at the same time. All right, here, look at this. My driver's license. Oh, please. Any high schooler with half a brain can get All right, would any high schooler save your life? Do you remember CJ and the whole thing with Marty and you were in a car crash and, and I saved you from plummeting to your death? Uh, you could have read about that. How about the time when, when you slobbered all over my silk shirt because you didn't make editor of the school paper? You remember that I offered to TP the other girl's house? And then you were so upset that I took you home and I made you a chocolate milk of Cheerios, which is your favorite. Uncle Todd? Yeah. Now and forever. How many messages, Todd? Four? Five? I knew that boy was too good no, to be true. If you're talking about Marco, I don't think he's the issue here, Dorian. And listen, I normally wouldn't say anything, but I really think that you should know. No, don't say anything. Don't, don't, don't tell me another. Why not? Because <clears throat> if I want to do things differently, I have to stop making the same mistakes. But you are her mother, and she really needs you right now. Yes. She needs me to respect her opinions, her wishes, and if she what? wishes to move out, live someplace else, that is her decision. Hi, Kelly. I won't say anything unless, of course, she asks for my opinion. But as long as she is safe, then I am not going to interfere. <sighs> <laughs> You're kidding me. Uh, what is it? These aren't my storyboards. This is Langston's. It looks like a script or a musical. We used to grab each other's folders this morning. Do you mind dropping by the high school on the way back to LU? I've got to find my material these smart storyboards. I really need for class. Uh, no, no. You, you go ahead. You know, my seminar was canceled, so uh, I'm meeting Hannah here. Hannah the hottie? Oh, fuck. Come on. Not you two. The walls have ears, my friend, and star when she gets going. I, I, she's pretty vocal on the, on the subject, but... But it's okay, you know, and Hannah's cool. All right, if you say so. I'm just saying, if Langston caught me partnering up with someone who looked like Hannah. Hannah, uh, did we have an appointment? Uh, now I need an appointment? Well, this is my office, I'm working. Ford, we need to talk. Are you sexting? 